in the heart of the bustling city of Elderia, where towering skyscrapers kissed the sky and neon lights painted the streets, lived two inseparable friends, Leo and Maya. Their friendship was a rare gem. Born out of a chance encounter in the crowded subway station, Leo, a reserved and introverted artist, found solace in his sketchbook, while Maya, an adventurous and free-spirited writer, saw stories in every corner of the city. Despite their contrasting personalities, Leo and Maya were the best of friends. They spent countless hours exploring hidden alleys, sharing dreams under the starlit sky, and supporting each other through life's ups and downs. Their bond was unbreakable, and everyone admired their unique connection. One fateful winter, Elderia was struck by an unexpected and merciless snowstorm. The city, unprepared for the intensity of the blizzard, came to a standstill. Roads were blocked, public transport was paralyzed, and the city dwellers found themselves trapped in their homes. Leo and Maya, however, were determined not to let the storm hinder their spirits. They decided to venture out into the winter wonderland. Armed with warm clothing and a spirit of adventure. As they trudged through knee deep snow, their laughter echoed in the crisp air. They made snow angels, engaged in friendly snowball fights, and marveled at the transformed cityscape. But as evening fell, their excitement turned to concern. They realized they were lost in the maze like streets of Elderia, with no visible landmarks to guide them back. The temperature plummeted, and the once magical snowfall began to feel like a threat. Shivering and disoriented, Leo and Maya stumbled upon a small, rundown cafe tucked away in an obscure corner. The warm glow of its windows was a beacon of hope, drawing them closer. Inside, they were greeted by an old man named Elias, the cafe's owner, who welcomed them with a kind smile and a crackling fireplace. Elias sensed their predicament and offered Leo and Maya a warm meal and a place to stay until pay. Storm subsided. Grateful for his generosity, they spent the night in the cozy cafe, sharing stories and learning about Elias's fascinating life. As morning broke, the storm had not yet abated, and it was clear that Leo and Maya would be stuck for a while longer. Days turned into weeks and the trio formed an unlikely bond. Leo sketched the cafe's interior, capturing the essence of warmth and hospitality. Maya wrote stories inspired by Elias's tales, infusing them with a sense of camaraderie and the importance of kindness. Elias, in turn, discovered a renewed sense of purpose, realizing that his cafe held the power to bring people together even in the harshest of times. Eventually, the storm lifted, and the city slowly returned to its usual rhythm. Leo and Maya bid farewell to Elias, promising to stay in touch and visit whenever they could. As they walked back through the familiar streets of Elderia, they realized the true essence of the saying, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Leo and Maya had ventured into the storm as friends, seeking adventure but they had emerged from it with a deeper understanding of friendship itself. Elias, a stranger they had met by chance, had become a true friend by opening his heart and sheltering them from the cold. The experience taught them that friendship was not just about shared laughter and joyful moments, but about being there for each other when it mattered most. From that day on, Leo and Maya dedicated themselves to spreading the message of kindness and the value of being a true friend. Maya penned a heartwarming story about their time with Elias, and Leo's sketches adorned the pages of the book. The tale resonated with people far and wide, reminding them that sometimes, the most unexpected friendships could bloom in the unlikeliest of places. And so, the story of Leo, Maya, and Elias became a beacon of hope, reminding everyone that in a world full of challenges and storms, a friend in need truly is a friend indeed.